So for this project, I started with a 21 by 21 inch mirror that I had picked up from a garage sale for $3. I took the backing off and I started taking the clips off because I was going to take the mirror out to make it easier to paint the frame, but I soon discovered that the mirror was already glued in. But just as an extra precaution, I took Elmer's glue and I put it around the back of the perimeter of the frame where there's a little space between the mirror and the frame. And after that dried overnight, I took painter's tape and put that around the uh, back of the perimeter also as an extra precaution. And when I say an extra precaution, I mean an extra precaution against resin leaking through uh, those cracks that aren't covered. Then I flipped it over and put painter's tape over the edges of the mirror just as an extra precaution in preparation to paint it. And I did paint it a pale yellow. I used a combination of chalk paint mixed with a little bright yellow acrylic paint to make a pale yellow um, frame. And then I took some home decor wax and put that over top after the paint had dried just to help seal the paint in. After that had dried and I took the tape off, I used this stencil that I had picked up on Amazon. It came with uh, about eight other stencils. And it says, you are my sunshine. And I thought that was really cute. And I was going to put the, a glass sunflower at the top and just use the words to stencil. So I went ahead and taped that down and stenciled. And then I had to do a little bit of touch-up work with um, my uh, paintbrush. So for this project, I decided to put the resin on first and then add the glass. So I'm using art resin, one-to-one -one ratio resin. Mix them both in the cup for three minutes. I always wear gloves. I always use a respirator. The slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. You need to scrape the sides and the bottom as you're mixing. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and I pour it around the perimeter of the uh, frame on the mirror, I should say, and uh, push it up into the corners because even though they say it's self-leveling, we all know that if you don't get it up into the corners and along the side, sometimes you'll uh, end up with some empty spots. So I spread it all over the mirror and then I hit it with the uh, kit, little kitchen torch to get the bubbles out. And then I start assembling it with the flowers. And I had previously experimented with the flowers in this half round fashion so that um, I knew it would look, look good. And this glass I'm using is actually tumbled clear glass that I sprayed with my Krylon stained glass spray paint, the color canary yellow. And it's a beautiful translucent yellow. And I do find yellow glass every once in a while um, that um, the color doesn't tumble out, but it's not as bright and pretty as this yellow. So I really like it. So um, if you've ever seen a sunflower before, you know it has um, like circles, layers of um varying shades of black and brown in the center and that's what I was trying to do with this and those gold beads that I put on I do eventually end up taking those off and I experiment with a bunch of uh, different beads I had there ready to put on just in case I didn't like what I put on and sometimes it's a balancing act you can see me I keep on pushing that one yellow petal back up into the uh, middle of everything so that it um, will stay but these are kind of shaped um, curved glass and it's, it's really hard for it to um, you know stay where I want it to so I just mess around with the beads for a little while and um, hit it again with the torch then I come back with my little toothpick and I'm looking for any kind of sediment that's in the in the resin. I do have a bunch of cats so sometimes I get a cat hair here and there. I, I don't let any of the cats in the room where I do the resin but they do go in the other rooms um, that I'm working on stuff so you never know. And then I take this green glass and I just sprinkle it around the perimeter. I just thought it needed a little something more and this again is the green glass that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of like the fire glass that you can order online but it's smaller than the quarter inch fire glass but it's a real pretty green and when you're all done with your project it needs to sit on a flat level surface overnight it takes a full 24 hours to cure 
and it sh it's in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover so that no other sediment gets in it. Hey everyone, love the way this turned out. Oh, I never took the tape off the back. Oh well, no resin leaks. So um, I, when I was looking through um, stencils on Amazon, I found this and it kind of reminded me of my mom. My mom passed away a few years back from Alzheimer's, but she used to always um, sing this song, um, You Are My Sunshine. And uh, when my kids were real little and they were growing up, she used to rock them and <laughs> sing that song. So it kind of reminded me of her. So I thought, well, I'll try to make that and I'll hang it up somewhere and it could remind me of her. Anyway, I like the way it turned out. I'm gonna try to pull it up a little closer so you can see how the center looks. And if you look at the center of sunflowers, you know, they have, um, they do kind of have different uh, layers and kind of different colors that changes a little bit as it gets toward the middle. But anyway, and then this glass around here is that glass from the Dollar Tree. And it's a lot smaller than, so I have that quarter inch celestial glass. And um, this is probably half the size or even smaller. So that's what I really like about that glass. And, um, and then of course that was leftover glass that I had sprayed with the Krylon spray paint, the canary yellow. Anyway, I, I like the way it turned out. And I just wanted to show you a few of my garage sale finds. So I got some really good deals, um, I think. So this mirror here, I think is so pretty. And I got this for, um, well, it has $3 on it, but I paid two. They took $2 for it. And um, I think this is made out of plaster. I'm not sure. Although, wait a minute, the back feels like wood. So I don't know, I'm not really sure, but it's really, it's a heavy mirror. It's a very heavy mirror. So um, anyway, that was one. And then I got these, I thought these were kind of cool to do something on, and these are super light. And they're not, I don't know, they're a very, very light wood. So I don't, I'm not really sure. This is the back of them. And they gave me all three for a dollar. I mean, they're pretty just like that. But those almost look the same. One, two, three. But I thought I would paint over them and do some kind of uh, glass art on them. And they already have the, you know, the hangers on the back and everything. And then the third thing I got, which is the best deal. You're not going to believe this one. So, this, it's huge. And I got this for a buck. I don't know um, that this was sitting up against the garage along with, and after I paid for it, I'm looking it over, looking it over, thinking something's got to be wrong with it that they gave it to me for so cheap. But it was sitting um, uh, in the um, against the garage, and then there was another big frame in front of it. And um, I said, how much for the mirror? He said, well, it's two for a dollar. He was just trying to get rid of the stuff. And I said, well, I just want the mirror. He says, well, I can't give that to you for 50 cents, but you could have it for a dollar. I said, okay. Because <laughs> the frame didn't have any glass in it or anything, the uh, other thing that was sitting in front of it. But one buck, do you believe this? It's still in the original packaging and it's got one of the moving stickers on it. I remember from moving, you know, they always put the sticker on it. So I guess they bought it, moved it and never used it. So they were just trying to get rid of their stuff. <laughs> Anyway, this was my best garage sale find. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And if you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe and you'll be notified. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.